Good evening, I'm Felicia Ruiz, and this is my module seven video assignment on food and fermentation. So for this assignment, I chose to create bread. And the recipe I found on Pinterest created two loaves of bread. Um, it's still warm. As you can see, my husband and I have already digged into it. So in the process of making bread, the microbe that has evolved is yeast. And yeast is a unicellular eukaryote. And so what happens is yeast is going to feed on that sugar. Um, and then the enzymes in that yeast ferment the sugar, which then creates carbon dioxide and ethanol. So in the process of making bread, you get, I use active dry yeast. You put a packet in um, of a bowl of warm water and about a pinch of sugar. And then you let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes until that yeast um, foams up um, and bubbles. And then that's when it's ready. And then you add all your flour, sugar, a uh, little bit of salt, and then you mix it up. And then you roll it out, you let it set covered in the bowl for about an hour, and then you put it in a loaf pan, you cook it for 30 minutes, and you have bread. Um, so when that carbon dioxide is produced, right, um, it gets trapped in these little air pockets, and that is what causes the bread to rise. And the alcohol that is produced starts off at a, as a liquid at room temperature, and then um, evaporates during baking by creating these gas bubbles. And so the yeast can also add flavor and aroma to the bread. So that's where the bread gets that smell. Um, but this process is called irreversible chemical change. So yeast can survive in the presence of oxygen and the absence of oxygen. And during the presence of oxygen, um, yeast is undergoing aerobic respiration. And then during the absence of oxygen, it is undergoing fermentation. So I would say that my baking skills are pretty good. The bread turned out very delicious. Um, it was cooked perfectly. The inside's done, it's soft, and it has a crunchy crust and it's golden brown. Um, so I think it was very successful for the first time I've ever made bread. Um, and then changes that I would make, um, I don't have a standing mixer, so I use all by hand, and it was tiring once you got to about that six cup of flour, it got pretty tiring. So I think next time I will use, I will get a standing mixer or try to use my mixer, I guess, and make sure that the dough is more smooth. Cause it was kind of clumpy and it took a while to get it molded and smooth into that perfect ball that you need for it to set. Um, but yeah, I think it was very successful, successful and I enjoyed um, this project. So my resources that I used um, were the video in module seven on fermentation, food fermentation. And then on a website called Loafy Bread was an article called Yeast in My Bread. Um, and those are resources that I used for the assignment. Um, and that is my module seven video. Thank you.